hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET MVC how to create an autocomplete drop down with HTML data list element using web API and here we got the final output we got the header tags horizontal line and the drop down list which is the data list control notice we got the placeholder inside in the data list element and the EMP names are binded. Let's enter V. See, we got Warren. It's an auto complete drop down control. See, Charan, James, Alex, A L P X, Alex. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new web API application. Go to File, New Project, and from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is DDL Dropdown List. Auto Complete Web API. Is the project name click OK? And from the ASP.NET templates, I'm selecting Web API. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this window. Open Solution Explorer. Now, in this project, first I'm adding ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Right click the project name add adword.net entity data model the model name I'm adding EMP model click OK and from the model contents I'm selecting the first option click next let's create a new SQL connection I'm adding my SQL server name After adding a SQL server name, now I'm selecting the database name. The new DB database, test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here we got the connection string, and the connection string entity name is new DB entity. And I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Click next. Now let's select the table from the selected database object. Expand the DBO. The table I'm selecting the employee. Click finish. And here the employee entity model is added to our project. After that, let's open Solution Explorer. Minimize the references folder. Now after adding the model, now we'll add the new class in this models folder. Right click the models folder, add class, the class name I'm giving, emp class. And here we got our class. Now in this class I'm just defining the public properties, public int. I'm adding the properties for emp id and emp name only. So let's add TMP ID get set public string TMP name get set. After adding the properties in this EMP class, next open solution explorer. Now let's create a API controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. Let's select the web API to controller empty add. The controller name is EMP search. EMP search is the API controller name add. And here we got our API controller EMP search. First, let's add the models namespace using the project name is DDL Autocomplete Web API dot models folder semicolon now in this api controller public high http action result 
get emp emp such is a method now in this method i'm adding first my connection string entity name which is a new db entities let's create an object and is equals to new new db entities after that i'm adding i list this i list the t type the class name i'm adding the class name is emp class this model class let's create an object emp object is equals to new so not new nd dot employees dot include between double quotes the include method takes a string path so the path i'm adding the my table name employee dot select i'm adding lambda expression new emp class Let's add the properties emp id is equals to x dot emp id comma emp name is equals to x dot emp name dot to list and the list the t source I'm adding the emp class name I return okay I'm adding EMP object semicolon that's it we have written the code to fetch the employee name details from this employee table now let's browse the web API controller Google Chrome and here we got the default output of the project now we require the web API URL after forward slash I'm adding API forward slash the API controller name is EMP search let's add that one enter and here we got the output of the web API EMP search in the XML format now let's bind this EMP name into a drop down list using data list control with the auto complete search functionality so I can switch back to the coding part stop debugging open solution explorer now let's add a MVC controller in the same controllers folder right click the controllers folder add select the controller now this time I'm selecting MVC for controller empty add the controller name is EMP add and here we got our controller now first in this controller I'm adding using DDL the project name dot models folder semicolon and the public action result index I'm adding I'm using HTTP client to consume the web API so the HTTP client is belongs to the using system dot net dot HTTP namespace now let's add the HTTP client let's see is equals to new HTTP client let's see dot base address is equals to new URI the URI which is a string now let's add the web API URL copy this one paste here semicolon now once we got the web API let's consume the web API variable consume web API is equals to hc dot get async method the get async methods takes a parameter string request URI so string is between double quotes the request URI is this EMP search the web API controller name let's delete this 
button here. Semicolon consume web API dot wait method. After consume, I want to read the data. Variable read data is equals to consume web API dot result semicolon if read data dot is success status code once I read the data from the web API I want to display the results so again I am declaring a variable display results is equals to read data dot content dot read as a sync I list in this I list I am adding the class name EMP class display results dot wait method we are displaying the records in the drop down list control so we need we record the i enumerable i enumerable emp class let's create object emp object is equals to now let's add this object here in the if condition emp object is equals to display results dot result property in the return view i am adding this emp object that's it we have consumed the web api into this action result index method now, now the final one we require the index view page now before adding the index view page we must build the application build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded let's close this output message box in the action result index select that one highlight the mouse right click the mouse add view the view name is index the template I'm selecting empty the model class I'm adding our model class is EMP class let's this one here EMP class click add and here we got our index view page and now in the view page at model I'm adding I enumerable enumerable after adding the I enumerable in the model now let's add the center tag close the center tag after the headers h1 let's change the header implement auto complete drop down done using data list element MVC, MVC web API tutorials horizontal line now after the horizontal line I am adding the data list element data list id is equals to data 1 now in this data list I am adding for each head for each variable item in model now between curly braces I am adding the option tag now let's bind the model at item dot the employee name now I want to make this data list element to the auto complete search functionality so for that I'm adding input type is equals to text a list is equals to list property now in this list property I'm adding the data list ID which is a data one let's add that one in the input text box 
and close the text box control. Now let's add the placeholder also. Placeholder enter employee name. That's it, we have done the complete coding part. We got the adword.net entity model, the model class EMP class, API controller, MVC controller, and the index view page. Now, before running this application, the most important we must change the controller name, open solution explorer, app underscore start folder, expand that one, route config.cs file, open that one. And notice here the controller is the home. Let's read that one the home default controller name. Our controller name is EMP controller. I'm adding MVC controller. And the action result is the index page, which is this one index view page. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now it's time to check the results. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output. We got the header tags, horizontal line, and the drop down list, which is the data list control. Notice we got the placeholder inside in the data list element, and the EMP names are bounded. Let's enter V. See, we got Warren. It's an auto complete drop down control. See, Charan, James. Alex, A -L -A -X, Alex. That's it. We have implemented the auto complete drop down using data list element in MVC Web API.